Well, we're now in the era of selling or rainmaking. It's very, very important, first of all, for the individual to learn how to sell in order to get promoted, uh, in order to get more money, in order to get the skills needed to build relationships and turn relationships into economic value. As for the firm, uh, the firm is in a more competitive marketplace than ever before. They need to differentiate themselves more, thus their people need to be able to sell better. And so to grow revenue, to grow market share, to grow market share not only for the whole firm but also for different practices, they need to be able to have people selling. Well, there's a macro way of looking at it and a micro way of looking at it. The macro way of looking at it is to look at the sales related to the budget. I mean, you always set a budget for the year, and, and the budget is for the different practice areas, for the different individuals, and so on and so forth. The more micro area is what we call the pipeline. And the pipeline, everyone has a different kind of a pipeline, but typically it would be, show me the stages on the pipeline, show me how much is in each stage of potential business, Show me the value of the potential business and show me the timing. How long has it been in there? And the different stages might be quality contacts, enhanced relationship with those contacts, leads, proposals, sales. So you've got both the pipeline for the individuals and more micro and, the, and then there's the macro. Eighty twenty rule. 80-20 rule means I should talk 20% of the time and they should talk 80% of the time because what we need to do is I need to ask questions, listen, and do not interrupt, do not interrupt, do not interrupt, number one. Number two, I want to learn, 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 not sell, sell, sell. It's uh, very easy to just come in and say, well, I'm going to pitch you and I'm going to sell you. No, I need to learn about you, especially the first times that I meet you. Now, number three, give before you get. I want to learn about you and I want to do something for you. If I can do something for you, and it doesn't mean having to give business to you, but if I do something for you, the door opens up wider and you're going to want to do something for me. And then finally, before you leave any meeting, have a next action. Sales coach is typically an outside person. If you have an inside person mentoring or coaching their people, there can be a conflict. It can get more complicated because of bonuses, promotions, projects they work on, or clients they get. The outside coach does this for a living. And so they come on in and they can be very objective and they can let the individual know what's good, what isn't good. And so the other things too that a coach can do is if I had to say the most important is to get people to do it, to do it versus just sitting back and strategizing about all different kinds of things. Secondly, the coach can celebrate with them and not only celebrate success, but celebrate failure, embarrassment, and rejection. Because if you don't have failure, embarrassment, and rejection, you're not selling. And then finally, uh, the coach can help the individual understand the incentives that are out there for them to sell. Because if there's no incentives, the coach can't do it. I'm going to give you a number of epiphanies. I've been doing this for about 10 years at this point in time. And it's, it's amazing the simpleness of the epiphanies. And the first one would be is that professionals can sell. And it's not sleazy. And sell is not a four-letter word. Professionals can be successful in selling and enjoy selling and even have fun selling. That's number one. Number two, uh, one that I get a lot is once they realize it's all about you and it's not about me, then they're much better at it. They realize that that's the way it is and they shouldn't just come in and pitch somebody. Number three, I don't need to show you how smart I am. By asking the right questions, I show you how smart I am. And then uh, number four, they've got to ask for the next step or ask for the business. If they don't do that, nothing's going to happen. If they do ask for the next step or, or the business, something can happen and that something can be real good.